this is episode 19. So this one is going to be about plates, obviously. So uh, it's typically like in CrossFit, especially the gyms that have the ability to go outdoors, whether you're in California or it's the summer or whatever it is, um, it's imperative that you're using the appropriate plate for outside. So we'll do a more in-depth episode about each plate. So these are just four examples here. Obviously there's more plates out there. Um, but what you're definitely not going to want to use first and foremost is a competition plate. Um, I know Rogue makes a few different types of these. Um, this is just one of their versions of them. So you definitely do not want to drop these outside. They're not made to do that, um, especially with the insert. Um, it has a six bolt pattern right here um, and that will start to loosen up uh, fairly quickly. Um, if you go on Rogue's YouTube channel, Bill, the CEO, he actually kind of talks about this a little more in depth along with these two at the end here. Um, the next one, which you're going to typically see in a powerlifting setting or bodybuilding, um, is like a typical steel uh, standard 45 pound plate like this. Um, definitely do not want to use that outside. I mean, I've seen these just literally just snap in half or crack in half completely. So I definitely want to steer clear of that one outdoors. Um, probably stick more so towards the platform or uh, any bodybuilding machine. Um, the high temp uh, made in Alabama, uh, USA. Uh, that's going to be one of the better choices uh, for outdoor. It's made of recycled rubber. So that's going to withstand a lot. I personally have uh, this for my personal bar. So if I want to use it in a, you know, out on the asphalt or parking lot, whatever it is, it holds up very, very well. You can hardly see the wear and tear on it. Um, and then last but not least, the HD plate. Again, both of these are rogue plates. Um, this one you can use outside. It's ideal if you have like a stall mat or, or some sort um, just to protect it. It's gonna get scuffed up, that's inevitable, just because it has a cleaner finish than the recycled rubber look. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, and like I said, we'll get to this uh, in a different episode, but one thing to point out between these two is the insert itself. So this one is uh, set back a little bit. So it's going to you know, hold up a little bit better in the long run compared to the HG. Um, it kind of comes out a little bit more and it's exposed. So just keep that in mind. But in general, for outdoor use, the, the, eight, or the uh, um, high time is gonna be your best bet, uh, followed by the HG. Um, probably don't wanna get these out at all. If you're you're insistent about getting this one outdoors, make sure to put down a stall mat of some sort, uh, but it's ideal for the platform. That's what it's made for, for competition. So um, if you have any other questions, um, feel free to hit us up, you know, at Barshield USA on Instagram or info at barshieldusa.com. Um, our YouTube and then our blog, or blog on our website um, has the rest of our maintenance tips. Um, so we have maintenance tips and then we also have some cool uh, technique videos from people like Danny Lear, uh, from Caffeine and Kilos, uh, Danny Carmargo of uh, Carmargo Oldie Concepts. Um, so there's a wide variety of content on there. So feel free to check that out um, and let us know what you think. Thanks.